Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and much appreciated each and every one of you guys checking the video out and subscribing to the channel. And like you'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you hadn't had a chance yet, much appreciated. Today we're gonna to be continuing our bait series and we're gonna be talking about weight baits. I'm gonna give you guys some good tips and advice on what they are and when you wanna fish them here. So anyway guys, weight baits have been around for a long time and I'll describe the bait first to sort of give you sort of a uh, an overview of what they're about and everything so the main thing about a wake bait you notice now there's a lot of different profiles this is this is the mega bass eye jack right here it's a little bit fatter one but they come in a lot of different lengths a lot of different profiles but they all have the same thing in common and that's the flat lip right here see how the the lip on it is just flat it's not like angled like a normal crankbait or jerk bait now what this does is this is a topwater lure and when you fish it up, when you reel it, you just reel it straight through the water. You just throw it out there and just reel it in straight like that. And the thing wobbles like this over the top of the water. And what it does is when it wobbles from the back, it creates a V, a weight comes out the back of the, ba back of the bait. And that's why it's called a weight bait. So you're throwing it out there and just reeling it straight in. And it comes across just like this, real subtle. Now, a wake bait is really unique uh, compared to a lot of different topwaters simply because it is so subtle. Um, one of the first things that you got to realize with a wake bait is you need calm conditions. If you have chop on the water, it doesn't work because the fish can't really see that wake behind it. I mean, maybe just a little bit of chop, you know, be okay. But for most conditions, I like some pretty calm conditions for this thing. Uh, you know, just so simply those fish can see the wake. So the, another element with this is you got to have clear water. Uh, since the bait is subtle and it doesn't make a lot of noise other than just going back and forth, some of them have rattles in it like this a little bit. But what you want to do is you need to have that clear water so those fish can actually see it above, they can see the wake, and that's when they come off of it. So combination of clear water and uh, calm conditions are ideal. Second to that, obviously, cloudy day. And you're going to find out for any topwater lure, cloudy day is going to be your best thing. But the main thing is what you want to know about the wake bait is the time of year to fish it. The wake bait, um, one of the things that makes it really, really good is it works in some pretty cold water and it works really good in the springtime of the year. So when the water temperature starts to get like in the upper 50s, like right before the fish start to spawn, uh, a lot of people start throwing a wake bait. There's something about it. It'll bring those lethargic fish out of that colder water to the surface to hit a bait and then on up into the post spawn like May into June. That can be really good areas. So the two type of areas that you like that you want to fish it, it depends on the season. If you're fishing when the water temperature is below 65 degrees, go to the back of the coves and just throw this thing in the back of the coves. Fan cast out in the middle of the cove, down the banks, everywhere you go in the back of the coves. And if the water temperature is like over 70 degrees and most of the fish have already spawned, move out to the points, main lake points, secondary points. And once again, just make long casts and fish all over the point. Fish, fish the bank, you know, like cast to the bank, cast out in open water. A lot of those fish, after they spawn, they move out on those points and they, some of them are suspended, some of them are on the bottom. But if you have clear water and calm days, they will come up and hammer this thing right here. It's Another thing, if you guys fish smallmouth, like if any of you guys are live up north on the northern tier states, like Lake St. Clair, Lake Champlain, uh, some of the Great Lakes, this is a, a wake bait is one of the best ways to catch the biggest smallmouth in the lake. Giant smallmouth will hit a wake bait under the right conditions. I mean, I've had, I've had some of the most giant, ferocious topwater strikes from smallmouth on wake baits, you know, particularly like in the month of June under those conditions. Equipment is another key thing, guys. You've got to use monofilament line on this. So I use monofilament line anywhere between, say, 12 to 14 pound test. You don't want to really use anything over 14 pound test because you can't cast it very far. And you need to cast a wake bait a long way. That's one of the big keys with this bait. It doesn't work if you don't cast it very far because you got to make a long cast to give that bait a long time to come through the water. Now, you reel this pretty slow. You're throwing it out there and you're reeling it slow. So if you make like a, a, you know, I don't know, 100, 150 foot cast, it's going to take you forever to reel the thing in because you're barely reeling it. But that's good because that gives you more time for those fish to sense it, to hear it in the water, come from a long distance and hit it. 
12 to 14 town test uh, monofilament line. And also you want to use a long rod. Try to use some, some type of a seven, seven and a half foot rod that's got a medium type of action to it. The reason you want a long rod is when you throw it out there, I like to hold the rod almost straight up in the air because the higher you hold the rod up in the air, the more it keeps the bait up higher in the water column. If you try to keep your rod tip low while you're reeling this, sometimes it tends to dig under the water too much. So holding your rod tip high will keep it up on the surface and keep it waking across the surface. So anyway, guys, give them a try. Um, wake baits, here's, here's my wake bait box. You can see I've got several different varieties in there and sizes. Um, like I said, you can get them about any quality tackle store. Uh, you guys know I work with Bait Works here in Springfield, Missouri. They got a big selection of them. So just give them a try. I think you guys will catch some good ones on it. So we'll talk later.